Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys. Wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi. In today's video, I have four amazing Bitcoin charts. I have a very helpful trading tip, of course, a helpful travel tip. I have a beautiful live advice, and we are talking about the news because the spot ETF news shows us something really strange. Now, let's quickly jump into the first chart to show you what is happening to Bitcoin at the moment. The first chart for today, guys, is a weekly chart. On this weekly chart, you can see a yellow and a blue line. These are the SMA and the EMA line. And to be exact, it's a 20 SMA and a 21 EMA line, guys. Why I have both of these moving average lines on the chart? Because these lines in the previous bull markets have been very important lines. We always tested these lines. If you go back into the bull market, for example, all the way back before all those drawings, let's see over here, 2017, that's the first one. You can see when we crossed those lines in the beginning over there, at the beautiful price of Bitcoin was still $300, we went up and we retested that line. We went up, we retested that line. And we kept doing that till we went into the massive last part. But even there still, we look here, went up, and we tested that line. The 20 and the 21 line were very important lines in the 2017 bull market. We kept retesting it. Now, if we look now to the next bull market here, we broke out. Again, we came back. We had that COVID crash over there, of course. And again, when we went up, we retested the line. Look, here we went up, retested, went up, retested the line. Then we had that 400% run. And of course, then we came back to that line again. So every and each bull market, we have been retesting that line. So if we would drop to those levels of 37K, 38K in my honest opinion, then look, that's yes, retesting that line. 36K would be retesting a blue line. So let's see where these lines will move in the next couple of days, because in three days, another candle will close and see if it goes a little bit higher. Maybe then it will be that 38K level that everyone is expecting that beautiful wake or drop to in the Bitcoin price to buy the dip. So if you look in the past, yes, indeed, we always use those two lines to test them during the bull market. Now let's quickly jump into more interesting charts. This one, for example, this one is showing you every time what kind of result we had after the halving and the yellow vertical lines are the halvings. So after the first halving, we went times 93. After the second halving in 2016, we went times 19. After the third halving in 2020, we went times seven. You can also see it took every time around that 76, 79 bars in 2020 to go to that new all high. Now, that new halving would be in April 2024. If it would be around 50K, what I'm thinking, and we would go only times four, we would reach 200K. If you would only go times three, we would still reach 150K. And it will take, in my honest opinion, somewhere to between September 2025 and the end of 2025. That's the area where I predict that the bull market top will be. Beautiful chart. We have this chart over here, also very interesting. Found it on Twitter. You can see how many days it will take every time to create a new all-time high. So if you look, to the moment where we are now, around 100 days before the halving, that's the yellow part, and then the halving is from that green part, and then how many days it will take from that halving to create a new all-time high. So at the moment, the all-time high is around 69K. If you look to 2017, it took 290 days after the halving to create that new all-time high. If you look to 2021, it took 219 days to create a new all-time high. So if we now look at the average of this, and we will look that the halving is in April 2024 now, and we will take 220 days or 250 days after the halving, we will arrive seven to eight months after April to create a new autumn high. So that will be the end of 2024, October, November, December, a beautiful moment again to create a new autumn high just before Christmas or something above 70k and then to take a dip of course again 
in January 2025, like always, before we go into the last massive part of the bull run in 2025 and create a new all-time high above 100k. Amazing chart. Then we have this one. We are now here. You can see it on the chart, that white line. We are just before the halving. We can see what the other two bull markets did after the halving. I expect the white line to do the same, just go up. And not even looking at the numbers, I only know one thing for sure, we're gonna go higher than the level that we are today. Very simplified chart. Here as well, the return on investment per cycle. From the bottom price till the top in the first cycle, 57,000%. Even to the next bottom was still 4,000%. Second cycle, 53,000%. To the bottom, 8,000%. From the bottom to the top, the third cycle, 11,000%. From the bottom to the next bottom, still 1,700%. Now look to the last bull market, you know, 2020-21. From the bottom to the top, 2,000%. From the bottom to the next bottom, still 400%. We are now at 170%. We can go much higher. Look to the diminishing returns. 50,000 to 11,000 is a divided by five. 11,000 to 2,000 is a divided by five. 2,000 divided by five would be 400%. So there is a lot of upward potential possible and let's see then where the next bear market bottom will be. In my honest opinion, it will be above 30K. In my honest opinion, we will never be able to buy Bitcoin down below 30K ever again. Today recording from the garden because I have my Muay Thai lessons later, so it will take me too much time to go to the beach and all that stuff. But I'm wearing my Bitcoin shorts. Take a look, take a look, take a look. I don't know if you can see it, but these are official Bitcoin shorts. Completely Bitcoin was a gift of one of the uh, followers, somebody that we met here on the beach, and he said, Didi, I brought you these new Bitcoin shorts. I really like them, look, check. It's just really cool shorts. All Bitcoin, Bitcoin, Bitcoin. Now guys, I hope you really enjoyed the charts. Uh, it's always the same message, guys. Yes, you need to zoom out, look at the bigger picture. It's very interesting to see exactly what is happening after each and every halving. Every time the same thing happens. We get a supply shock and that means the Bitcoin price is going massively up. And I expect exactly the same to happen again after this halving. Yes, it will take from April 2024 all the way till September 2025 to create a new bull market top. But we will break the previous all time already in 2024, in my honest opinion. So between April and December 2024, we will reach 70K. And then from that 70K level all the way into 2025, we could reach a new bull market up above 100K. It's a very exciting time, guys, those next 18 to 20 months. So you need to make sure that you're part of that exciting time. And how can you be part of that exciting time? By accumulating Bitcoin now. You should buy a shitload of Bitcoins around that 41, 42K level because we will go above 100K, that could be times 2.5 or maybe even times three or four your capital in the next 20 months. That's a very interesting investment opportunity that everyone should take. Now, let's jump into the trading tip. The trading tip for today is very helpful when you're trading altcoins, guys. It is always important that you look at the use case. If you invest in a project, does it have a use case or not? If it's just a meme coin or an NFT without any use case, there is a higher risk that value will go to zero. It's simple like that. If it does have a use case so people will use it in the future, it has a high probability of the price going up. For example, there is a project that I am investing in now, that's DYORDEX, D-Y-O-R-D-E-X. D or the X. Why? Because it has a use case. It's, it's going to be a combination of DEX tools and coin market cap. I don't like how DEX tools is working. They have a lot of issues. And coin market cap, in my honest opinion, should also be renewing their user interface, etc. So D or the X platform is going to be a combination of those two that I really think that could be doing better. So my bet is now on this one. Maybe that one will improve or innovate 
the services that we already are used from Dextos and CoinMarketCap. And so that's why I'm always looking for a use case. If there is a use case, I am prepared to invest. If there is no use case, I will leave that past. You know, sometimes, of course, there will be a meme coin or there will be like an NFT that I like because it's just entertainment. But that's not like my main core investment. If I put more in than, for example, 10K or 20K, it needs to have a use case. Simple as that. The second trading tip for today is start to trade on decentralized exchanges. Apex Pro is the best decentralized exchange out there. I've been talking about it now for over two years. I talk to you about Apex when it was 16 cents. Yesterday it went to a new all-time high of almost $2.60. That's a huge profit that you could have taken there. And very soon they are burning 15% of their tokens, which in my honest opinion will lead to another push. And they are also starting, I think it's a 22nd, again the beautiful trade to earn campaign that will take 52 weeks. So when you start to trade on Apex, you start to earn tokens and that's 52 weeks long so apex pro by far the best decks out there and you can now see the representation of that in that token price 16 cents to two dollar fifty yes i am a very happy man as i invested a lot in apex pro so yes my capital is a lot up and hopefully you listened to me as well and did invest last year october when it was like 15 and 16 cents guys now there were the two trading tips, let's jump into the travel tip. The travel tip for today is, if you want to see one of the most beautiful beaches in the world, in Thailand there is an island called Koh Kut. You pronounce it like Koh Kut, but if I say Koh Kut, in the Netherlands they think I'm saying Kut, which means pussy. So Koh Kut is a very beautiful island near the border of Cambodia over there and that's amazing. We made one of the first pictures as a family on a wide beach with palm trees over there and that picture went viral in all the news. The Bitcoin family went all in. It's the family picture where we all stand on the beach where Jess is still uh, holding their fishnet, you know that one? That was made on Ko Kut. Ko Kut, you write Ko Kut. If you google it, Ko Kut. <laughs> really beautiful island and that's also the travel tip for today. If you love white sand beaches, palm trees, coconuts, sitting on the beach, eating on the beach, having fun on the beach, then Thailand is the place to be. There has never been any other country that has such a developed tourism on the beach. Most of them have a boulevard or on the boulevard or even behind the boulevard. Thailand, everything is happening on the beach. You have beach bars, you have restaurants, you have fireworks, you have everything. It's just a very beautiful country when you're a beach lover. And Koh Kut is one of the most beautiful beaches I've ever seen in my life. It's a special beach over there. If you want to find it, then go to our Instagram because there you will find the picture of the beach and also the location of the beach, guys. Now, that was a travel tip for today. Let's jump into the next part. The question for today from one of the followers was, Didi, can you buy a condo with Bitcoin in Thailand? The answer is very simple, yes you can. There is a lot of developers over here that accept Bitcoin for their real estate. Every Friday when I go to the market, there is even stands there with people with flyers. You can buy an apartment, you can buy a villa, you can buy into this, you can buy into, and they all accept Bitcoin guys. So yes, if you want to exit the market into real estate, Thailand is a very beautiful place to do so. And they don't have these lists of requirements of thousands of questions of where do the Bitcoins come from and how it is and how that. No, it's not difficult at all. You just go there, you sign the contract, you send the Bitcoins, you pay for your condo and that's it. You own a condo in Thailand paid for with Bitcoin. So there is more countries in the world where you can still use Bitcoin to buy condos. For example, uh, Mexico. I found real estate developers there that accept Bitcoin. For example, Portugal, Spain. Thailand, there are so many countries, yeah, El Salvador of course, Switzerland, where you can use Bitcoin to pay for property. But most of these Western countries like United States and Europe, they will require you to show uh, where the Bitcoins came from. Many other countries in Asia or South America, they don't have that requirement, they just want your Bitcoins. So yes, all over the world, you can use Bitcoin to buy a house. And in Thailand, it's very simple. It's not difficult at all. There's a shitload of real estate developers here that accept Bitcoin for their real estate. So that's the answer on the question. 
The news for today is about the spot EDF, the Bitcoin spot EDF of course. In the first couple of days we did 10 billion dollar worth of volume. That's an insane volume if you compare it to all the other spot ETFs. In 2023 around 500 spot ETFs were approved. We have a combined volume of 450 million. The number one of those 500 spot ETFs has a 45 million volume. We are talking about 10 billion dollar worth of volume for the Bitcoin spot ETF in the first couple of days. I think iBit alone is showing more volume than the complete 500 ETFs that were approved in 2023, guys. That is how insane volume is being created now in the spot ETF for Bitcoin. And you're now asking yourself, how is that possible? The Bitcoin price is not reacting at all. That's because we are talking about volume. And that vol volume is being created by selling and by buying, of course. And yes, there's a lot of people selling their spot ETF GBTC because the fees are too high and buying new spot ETFs at those lower fees. So that's a lot of volume being created there as well. But aside of that, it's still a ton of volume that's being created in the first couple of days. More than that whole 500 ETF group in 2023. That is insane. And the price in the end will need to react because maybe these were all the Bitcoins that they already acquired. But the market will dry up. There will be a supply shock. There will be not enough Bitcoins to support the demand of the market. And the moment that will take effect, that is the moment when Bitcoin will propel again to new higher prices. Because then they need to start to buy up the market and they can only buy up the market by paying more for the Bitcoins. That's how supply and demand works. So yes, the first couple of days were perfect. Let's see how the next couple of weeks will evolve. But if the demand keeps growing, like it has started to grow in the beginning of the Bitcoin spot ETF, then believe me, there will be a moment that price starts to react on that, guys. Insane Bitcoin news for, insane news for Bitcoin. Beautiful, beautiful news for Bitcoin. Let's see how bullish 2024 really will be. Let's quickly jump into the next part. The next part, guys, is the last part of the video. And the last part, of course, is always the life lesson or the inspirational part, however you want to call it, guys. And this today's quote is, you will always fail when you fail to try. It's simple as that. If you never try, you already fail. If you at least try, there is a possibility to succeed and there is a possibility to fail. But if you don't try, the only possibility is failing. So the first step for you to take now is to try that new thing, to try to change, to try that first yoga class, to try to do the first pedal course, to try whatever it is. You need to start and try out. If you don't try out, you will always fail. And it can also be very little things in life. Like, for example, changing your style or whatever it is. If you don't try it, you already fail. So it's very important to understand that you will always fail if you fail to try. It's a very powerful quote. So whenever there's something new on your path this week and you're thinking, nah, let's not do it because I will fail, you already fail. If there is one new thing on your path this week, try it. Just say yes. Just do it. Yes, you can fail, but yes, it can also be a success. And when it will be a success, you will understand that you need to lose the fear for all these new things to not become a failure. It's simple as that, guys. You must never fail because you failed to try. It's not bad to fail if you at least tried something new if you at least try to change if you fail then at least you tried you will be on your deathbed when you're very old and you will be at least i tried if you don't try it you'll be looking back at life and looking at yourself and be saying to yourself i should have tried i should have tried maybe it would have become a success and then your wise lesson to your grandchildren or your children 
will be, please, never fail because you failed to try. Please try out everything in life. Just say yes to all those new things in life so you have the possibility of success. I think that's a very powerful life lesson that everyone should realize. Don't say no all the time. Try to say yes, try new things out. You will never fail because you failed to try. That was everything for today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy today's video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell and leave a comment. And if you wanna trade, guys, always trade using the links down below this video because that's how you help me as well. You can use Bybit, beautiful centralized exchange, but the best exchange out there with a huge bonus up to 30,000 US dollar. At the moment, a very cool trading competition where you can win 2.2 million US dollar. If you want to trade decentralized, use Apex Pro, by far the best DEX out there. Also many competitions going on. And if you want to trade non-KYC, there's a new exchange on the list called Levex. I'm an investor in Levex, disclaimer, but that's a very good exchange created by influencers for influencers and the community. So check that one out as well. Also a nice bonus over there if you sign up using the link down below. Thank you for watching. I wish you an amazing day. Hopefully see you tomorrow again. Bam.